Hello and welcome back to Bible Nuggets. I'm Andy Blaylock, joined by brother Chris Hammond. Hello again, folks. Good to have you as always. Remind you our theme verse is Matthew 4.4. 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Well, today's nugget is going to fall under the category of commonly misunderstood scriptures. One of my favorites. <laughs> yes. it's, it's really a story of what did not happen, or mm -hmm. in this case, what was not read yep. in a scripture that was actually read aloud by Jesus in the synagogue. Yeah, and we're going to be in the Gospel of Luke for this story. It's in chapter 4, and we're going to pick it up in verse 16. We find here the Bible says, and he, that's Jesus, came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty to them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And I say amen to that. But then, keep going. Verse, nine, verse 20, it says, And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and he sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. So here we have Jesus reading out of the book of Isaiah, and he's reading from what today we would call chapter 61. Didn't have yep. chapters then, but <laughs> yeah, now, today yeah. we would call yeah. it chapter 61. Yep. But then he does something. He abruptly, he just closes the book mm -hmm. and he hands it over to the minister. Yep. But we're going to find out by, by the end of this chapter that the audience is, they're not happy with this. And... Mm -hmm. They're not happy with our Lord, but Brother Andy, would you maybe read for us verses 28 and 29? Absolutely. And all they in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow of the hill whereon the city was built, that they may cast him down headlong. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, talk about a uh, very quickly escalating situation here. All of a sudden, they wanted to kill him. They wanted to kill the Lord Jesus. But the question is, I think we all would ask, is why? What was in this passage that he read that so infuriated the crowd? Well, I think we're going to find out that it's not really so much as what was in the passage that Jesus read from Isaiah 61, but it's a portion of the passage that Jesus did not read. To, yes. to see this, we really need to go back to Isaiah 61. Yep. So if, if you would, Brother Andy, would you read for us verses 1 through 3? Yes. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance for our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified." Well, if you notice back in, in Luke chapter 3 that, that Jesus stops reading yeah. after this first phrase in verse 2 of Isaiah 61, mm -hmm. he does not read the remainder of verse 2 or any of verse 3, and he turns to the crowd there in the synagogue and he tells them that this scripture, mm -hmm. the, the scripture that he's just read, yeah. is fulfilled this day. But here's the question, Brother Chris, and I think many of them might be asking, <laughs> why didn't they like that? <laughs> well, I, I think we have to take, and let's bring our minds back to first century mm -hmm. Israel, if we can. Yeah. Think about the Jews at the day of Christ and, and what they were going through and what they were expecting, okay? Yeah. They wanted a Messiah, yeah. most of all, who would deliver them from the bondage of Rome, they wanted a deliverer. They wanted to have their own kingdom, just like it was in the days of David. They wanted someone to deliver them from Rome. Yeah, but 
they didn't have a deliverer. Yes and no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they did get a deliverer. Yeah. Of course, he could deliver from sins, but Christ would deliver the nation of Israel physically, but not yet. Yes. Yep. Not at this time. Yep. A at this time, Christ was coming to fulfill this first portion of the scripture in Isaiah 61 there. He's coming to preach good tidings. Yes. He's coming to bind up the brokenhearted. Yep. He's coming to proclaim liberty to the captives and, mm -hmm. and to open the prisons to those who are bound. He's coming to mm -hmm. proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. But that's not what they wanted. <laughs> no, that is not what they wanted. No. Uh, they really wanted the next part of verse two. Mm -hmm. They wanted a Messiah who would proclaim the day of vengeance yes. of our God. Yep. The one that who had appointed to them that mourn in Zion, who would give beauty for ashes yeah. and a messiah who could give them the oil of joy for mourning garments mm -hmm. of praise for the spirit of heaviness they wanted a messiah who really would make the jews be called the trees of righteousness yeah. and he will but not yet That's not right. at this time That's right no at this time jesus christ came he was there to preach the gospel at right. this time He's coming to be the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Yeah. He will come again to bring the vengeance of God. He will. He mm -hmm. will come again as the lion of the tribe of Judah, but... But not at this time. No. Nope. yet. Jesus here came as the lamb of God, and yeah. what happened? He was rejected yes. by the Jews. It's true. But he did provide... The gospel. In fact, what they've discovered and would discover, and we know, is that he is the gospel. Yes. Right after closing the book mm -hmm. and telling them that the scripture was fulfilled in their very ears that day, Jesus goes on to provide really a history lesson of, I think, what it was God's timing. Mm -hmm. In this case, the healing of Naaman. Yeah. And this so in infuriates the Jews that they're basically ready to murder him. <laughs> and there's a reason that Jesus closed the book. Amen. Yes. And honestly, it causes us to be grateful. It's like, well, well, grateful, why? Because he came to bring the gospel first. Right. He will bring judgment when he comes, but not now. Not right now. The gospel is his message to the world, mercy and grace. Right. We live... In a time of grace. Yes. And vengeance is coming. Yeah. It will come. Yeah. The rest of Isaiah 61 will be fulfilled. But I thank God we live in this time of the acceptable year of the Lord. Yeah. And I hope this has been a blessing to you, uh, this nugget. And we certainly look forward to you joining us next time. And God bless you. <laughs>